today there has been some serious heat going on around here hello and welcome to this video of me just exploring and taking some pictures now today i'm not alone i'm here with woody of woody's world who you have seen before in a previous video called on the hunt for some b-roll he introduced me to this place at the weekend where we created a video for his channel uh, where we had a drone b-roll battle that was something really interesting to do so if you like the drone b-roll make sure you watch that video i will leave a link in the description for it now the aim for today is actually just to get out and take some pictures it has been some time since i've just hit a spot took the camera and snapped away now this place has a pretty decent setting so i'm pretty sure we will get some bangers now even though I didn't come alone, I feel like I am alone in this place. But let's go and explore and see if we can find him. I'm pretty worried. This place is dark. <whistles> yep, we won't go in there on our own. So it turns out I'm not alone. He is here. We did slightly go wandering in opposite directions, but I've stumbled across him. We're all good now, we're all safe. So it's time to get out and just take those pictures. I mean, Look at that backdrop, it is juicy. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so first place of interest, I think we're gonna head up here. That right there is we went up at weekend and we found it was a big, dirty, great big cement mixer. And dearie, that's what it is. So we're gonna get up there, cause look at all that rust. That could make a good, good picture. So we're gonna head up there, take some photos and hopefully see some results. I'm gonna head up there now. I have got my Canon 250D ready and waiting. I put the 50 mil lens on, uh, cause it's gonna be a bit dark up there. So hopefully it give me a bit better performance in low light. Uh, see what kind of pictures we can get. What's gonna be a good comparison is the fact that Oni's actually using an iPhone 11 to do everything with. But you can also get some absolute banging footage with it. So I'm the guy with the cameras, two cameras to be exact. This guy's doing it all on one. And he knows what he's doing with it. So it should be interesting. So pretty much around here, we should be able to nail that rugged look, that rustic photography look. I mean, there's literally rust everywhere. I'm pretty sure some dramatic pictures will come from today. On our Instagram, and we leave them both down below. <laughs> that looks like it's going down, not up. <laughs> <laughs> James, I'm gonna go up. No, you're not. Yeah. Here enough. I'm gonna try it. Good. Yeah, see, I ain't going up there. That's 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 for sure. I ain't going up there. James. Yo! Come on. I ain't going up them steps. I ain't going up them steps. <laughs> Man, you need to. You know when they say don't give in to peer pressure, this is a how-to on what not to do. But let's pick the stuff up and let's, let's go to the step. But I've got a question. Do you think it'll take me away? Don't, don't jump when I'm up there or else I ain't coming. <laughs> Right, so I've been on this upper level now for a couple of minutes, trying to take some pictures. And just to show you actually how high it is, if the camera adjusts, yeah, we're, we're not we're not that low, and this floor isn't, well, it isn't very stable. So I think it's time to head back down the stairs and try and find another spot. Back down from up inside that tower, and I've noticed one negative thing about this bag. If you've watched my what's in my camera bag, you'll notice that I bought a camera bag, which is pretty cheap and available, being available being the main word in that. Now for a while, I've been thinking about changing that camera bag to a side access bag. And one of the reasons is this. So I've been up there, taking some pictures, and it's, you could say it's pretty dusty. That is now my camera bag, after taking pictures for about five minutes. The problem with the top entry is you have to lie it down. In a place like that, it's not gonna treat you very well. New bag needed, new bag needed. 
One thing to note is all the pictures taken today will be uploaded to our Instagram channel. So I will link them both down below. You're gonna head over there and check them out and make sure you give us a follow because that's the only place you're gonna see all of our pictures. I just wanna make one comment. This lighting tonight is the best lighting I've ever made a video in. I mean, yeah, that's happening. That is happening. Next spot on the list is inside this dark tower. Now, hopefully you can see me okay. We're gonna go check out what Owen's up to because I did hear some noise in here. Now, I hope it's him because if it ain't, is isn't, isn't gonna be the greatest experience. As you can see, there's some, uh, some stuff in here. Ever tried doing that on camera? It's really difficult to try and work it out. Where to point is the... Is the <laughs> So I'm currently taking pictures with my 50mm lens. It's probably the cheapest lens that I own, but it's the most lens that I get most enjoyment out of using. Some of the pictures I'm taking, like, I've just set up that over there. I don't know how well you can see it. That right there is a burnt chair. Now a burnt chair is a burnt chair. Put it in the right surroundings, make it look a bit more dramatic, and that is a subject of your fault. With this lens, they are looking pretty, pretty good. Like I said, if you're gonna to wanna to see the pictures, you're gonna to have to head over to our Instagram pages and check them out over there. See, now there is the reason we've come down at this time of night, because that, that's just stunning. Wait a minute, what's he doing? I tell you what, that is the riskiest thing I've ever seen anybody do. It is a ladder, maybe it's just me, I'm just soft. But if you can get up there, that picture, yeah. Don't think I'm going any higher, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you've done well just to get to there, pal. I'll give you that. Credit for that one. Yeah, but I'm not risking it. <laughs> but we've got another building over there to explore. There is a little bit of building over there which we haven't actually been in in the past. But this place is like set up for a, well, a photographer's paradise with the amount of stuff going on. But yeah, I mean. Look at that moon. Now if you are interested in the abandoned, abandoned site photography let's call it, then leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a few more places like this. So we're going to head into what we believe is the original office building whilst we've still got some light because there is no lights in there but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get some bangers. So we're gonna head in there now before we lose this lighting. Right. Oh, do you know what? That could look better than this one I've got on right now. Um, do you know what? James, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Should I try that hat on? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I see why everybody that does these abandoned building explorations have a flash because, yeah, well, I can't see anything in there, so I'm going to walk around because I did find another entrance, which is just there. Much easier to get through for me. But yeah. Let's see how well the phone torch works. We'll see. Got an old safe. It's open as well, I think. Let's have a go. Anything? <sighs> Pretty empty that one. Let's keep going. It is just a mess everywhere. If it was slightly lighter in here. The pictures. Wow. I have a strange feeling I think he's gone behind that. Oh shit. You found another room, you! Yeah. <laughs> when I look at this. What's that? Speedy moisture test is called. Ooh! Well, if you can get some pictures of it, you might have deserved the pictures. Yeah, I think, I think you might need a bit more than a uh, hoover in here. Oh. Do I look like something out of a horror film? I feel like I'm doing some 
Slayer Witch project sort of stuff in here. We've just stumbled across this other room and there is some items in here that I think would make an incredible picture, but as you can tell, it's, uh, it's very, very dark. So we'll try our best. We'll see what we can get. Is that a natural light for the whole room? Oh yes. <laughs> Building number two here, and we are losing light quick. So we're gonna head over into the smaller building, which we've never actually been before, and see what that's got to offer. In there, there was some gems, but this camera doesn't do fantastically well in such overly dark places. So for that stuff, you're gonna have to head over to Woody's video, wherever he is. There he is. Head over to his video. He's got a much more in-depth walkthrough of where we are. And it is an incredible place. This is the last building that we're gonna hit. So we're gonna have a quick look inside this smaller building. There's not much gonna go on. I'm not gonna waste my time in there because we have got low light and I'm thinking the drone, hungry. magic, hungry, always hungry mate. That's camera match bad. No. <laughs> this looks like If anybody knows me, I'm always hungry, always. So not much going on in that building for me to take pictures of. It's pretty small, but it is very, very dark. No flash. I don't like using the flash taking pictures. And I haven't brought any lights with me. That place is one to go during the day when you do get that natural daylight. But I think, yeah, I think it's drone time. I've got to get it up. I've got to get it up. Right, so that's it, we're all packed up now. We've been here for a good couple of hours, to be fair, uh, and we've had every different type of light we could have had. We've started off with a bright light, and we've ended with that stunner over there. One thing you wanna do is, after you've watched this video, head over to Woody's World and watch his too, because no doubt it will be different class. While you're over there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you leave some comments down below on the future stuff that you wanna see of us out exploring, out in the wilderness, and just getting some decent photography pictures. So with that, Hide and seek could well be on the cards. So with that, before I lose you completely, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.